I'm Lady Brown. Uh, my name is Kate Henry. I'm from Yorkshire in England. I'm an international student. I'm a junior. Um, my major is history and politics. And yeah, I graduate in well, at the end of this year. Three of us like a pyramid. Three friends, one laugh, one music, one flowered shawl knotted on each neck. I actually heard about it from a friend um, and I walked past the auditions and just asked if I could audition. I hadn't really heard that much about it. Um, I didn't know it was going to be as much of a big deal as it was so I just walked by, um, got a script off our stage manager and auditioned and then I got a call back and then yeah. So it was actually by accident but now I can't imagine not have ever auditioned. Lady in Brown, she is a, a strong woman. I actually have two very different monologues, I would say. Um, the first one, <clears throat> well, if you see it. The first one is um, a bit more somber, maybe. And then the second one I really like because it's more conversational and she's quite feisty and it deals with um, like love. Yeah, so I really, I really like that one. I like them both, but I like the second one. Um, I guess at first I was quite shocked that they picked me as the, the person who would, um, the woman who would open with the first monologue, but um, I really, I really do like it. I think it's a great monologue. Um, I really feel like I've got more into the character and it's a really important message and I'm just I'm privileged to open I don't want to hurt you, but you know, I need somebody now, and you know how wonderful he is! When I found out I was casted um, for the role, I sort of looked into a bit more about the dance and read up a bit more about history. I actually am a history major anyway, so I've looked at um, a bit of African American history. But I really feel that I, I've had a lot of support looking into um, the different types of music and the different types of dance and that's been a really really enjoyable part of um, the experience and I think that's helped me to prepare for the role but definitely I'm going to have to speak about this at some point my accent has been a bit of a typical point because obviously I'm British she's trying to be American because you know she's in for coloured girls <laughs> and I'm trying to be British just because I love culture <laughs> um, so I think playing an African American woman and um, especially being with um, Cast, other cast members that are, you know, fantastic, and they also have this wonderful natural accent. I think I found that's been one of my biggest struggles, one of my challenges. Um, and I mean, I, I don't have the perfect accent for the show, but I'm trying my hardest, and you know, it's going to have to be my interpretation and my best efforts. But yeah, it's been it's been a challenge, but it's it's been good. There is an intersection of the black experience in the UK and America. Um, I would say that's been a really interesting thing for me, coming to BC. I would say that I maybe have just found this whole other part of my identity coming, up, coming to BC. Um, yeah, being involved in black theatre, I've never done something like that before. Being in a gospel choir, I was in, I've been in Voices of Marnie and I've never done something like that before. Um, yeah, I just feel like I've found out so much more about another side of my heritage and that's been a really amazing experience. And being part of the play is obviously an extension of that and I'm really excited about it. And it will be an experience that I will, I'll remember for the rest of my life, definitely, is just the people I've met. It's, it's just been wonderful. I feel so fortunate to have worked with such a wonderful team of girls and oh, women, I should say, strong women. Um, yeah, I've loved getting to know everybody um, and doing something that really occupies <coughs> your time and that you can put a lot of effort into. I've really enjoyed that. And, and yeah, challenging myself through the role and really thinking about the issues in, in the play. Um, I think it's not just something that should be taken lightly. I think I've really, really had to think a lot about the struggles of the women. And it really has, um, as I said before, it's really impacted me 
as part of my year abroad experience. I would not usually have maybe done anything like this. Um, and so yeah, I've, I've really loved it. I mean, it's, it's, I'd say it was hard work, but really enjoyable work. The season was dry. No men, no quickies. Not one damn saw eyes unrelenting one day after another. Favorite moment so far. Um, I just really enjoy the <laughs> spontaneous dancing that we all do as a cast. We're often set tasks to do a certain type of dance or a certain type of activity. And um, I just like it when we slightly deviate <laughs> from the task and just put our own into it. And it's just really great bonding with everyone. Then the rose she left by his pillow, she found on her friend's desk and there was nothing to say. Yeah, I think I do relate to some of the struggles. Um, I think everybody can relate to some of the romantic struggles maybe, um, to some of the struggles of feeling lost, feeling like your identity is, is not fixed. And also I think gender issues, I can definitely relate great to those being a woman, of course. I think it's, I mean, it's a huge title when you hear it. A couple of people commented to me how, how the titles sound and like, oh, that must be really depressing. Um, but actually, you know, it's actually an uplifting message really about, about the solidarity of black women together overcoming the struggles that they face.